Hey guys welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to draw anyone as a chibi character like this. So subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, it motivates me and gives me strength to make more videos like this. The chibi style originated from Japan and it's quite popular around the world. If we compare, the average normal height of a character is usually about 7 to 8 heads tall. Whereas in chibi style it's 2 to 3 heads long and the head size is normally anywhere between 1 third and 1 half the character's height. In this style the attention to details are normally less also. So let's create a canvas. I'll use 1600 by 2560 resolution. You can use any of these default presets, or you can also use your screen resolution here. All other settings are untouched. If you want to use the accurate colors as mine just paste the highlighted color hex here. The first step is to draw the basic shape of the character and everything around it. I'll draw the head one third of the body and the height three heads long. Use very simple shapes like triangle, square, rectangle etc. After that, lower the opacity of this layer and create a new layer above it. Keep adding basic details but don't add too many details. So my final sketch looks like this. Now, lower the opacity of this layer and create a new layer above it. Draw a neat and clean outline of this sketch. It should look something like this. Now, create a layer below, and then use the fill tool for coloring. If you fill color right now, it will fill color in the entire layer. Just enable this option. It will reference other layers and keep colors inside the outlines but I prefer traditional methods for coloring because I don't like fill tool results sometimes. These are the colors I use to color this picture. You can just paste the color hex in the color panel right here. So this is my color layer, and these are just background layers. Now, create a clip layer and change it to multiply. Create another clip layer and change it to overlay. We will use these two layers for shadows and highlights. For the colors, you can use anything between black and white. Use the multiply layer for the shadows and overlay layer for the highlights. To know where to add shadows and highlights you have to determine your light sources and let them direct where to draw them. It also depends on the shape of the object you want to draw the shadow and highlights on. Now it's complete, this is the shadow layer, and the highlights layer. Now, to change the color of the outline, enable the alpha lock. Use the color picker and use the darker version of this color, and change the color of every object based on its color. This is how it will look, or you can skip the last part if you don't like it of course. Thank you very much for watching the complete video, see you soon.